Hey everyone, so here's a quick video on this issue that many, many people are running into in uh, mid-September here. Uh, you try to either, you have a printer connected already that you're trying to print to, or if you're trying to connect a shared printer on your network, you get this error here. And when you go in here, it's this one here that ends with uh, 11B. Uh, it's happening everywhere. Uh, it seems like there's some kind of bug with one of the updates that Windows sent out to fix uh, printer nightmare or some vulnerability, but it's basically breaking people from being able to uh, print from shared printers on the network. So one solution that people are saying that you can do is if you go into uninstall program, and then in here, if you go to view, view installed updates, you can scroll down and find, uh, or in this case you don't scroll, but it's right here. If you uninstall this KB500-5565 from the host computer, from the one that's sharing, and then you restart, most people do say that it fixes this, this problem. But instead of doing that, there is another fix, which is basically you can go to regedit, and then in regedit, you go into local machine, system, current, control set, control, print. And then in here, what you can do is, if you go to print, you can right click, go to new, go to D word, 32 bit value. And then here, you want to type this uh, exactly like this, which is RPC auth n level privacy enabled. So if you do that, let's just confirm that it's correct. RPC off N level privacy enabled and set it to zero. So you can do that and then you restart your system. And then after you do that, then even if you have this uh, security update here, it allows you to print. Now for myself, I did that change on both uh, devices on um, on the host and on the remote. I think you might only have to do it on the host, but when I did it on my uh, setup, I did it on both, and then I was able to uh, print uh, shared from the other computer. So that's one way you can get around this issue until Microsoft fixes uh, this with a patch, which my guess is like within a week, they'll probably send out a patch to fix this problem. But uh, again, what you can do is uh, the regedit command that I mentioned, all right? You go in here, add this here, hit zero. Uh, now, if you're not comfortable messing around with regedit, then definitely don't do this and just do the uninstall. But if you're comfortable enough to put this in here, restart, um, that's a way to get to bypass it, okay? Hope this was helpful. Definitely like and subscribe if you like this content and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much, bye-bye.